welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus today, chapter 35 and verses 20 to 29. I'm just going to read verse 26 through uh, 25 through 29. All the skilled women spun with their hands and brought what they had spun in blue and purple and scarlet material and in fine linen. All the women whose hearts stirred them with a skill spun the goat's hair. The rulers brought onyx stones and the stones for setting for the ephod and for the breastpiece and the spice and the oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the fragrant incense. The Israelites, all the men and women, whose heart moved them to bring material for all the work which the Lord had commanded through Moses to be done, brought a free will offering to the Lord. So what do we see here? And I didn't read the, the whole section, you can read it, but what do we see here? People are bringing the different things that have been uh, sought for, but what's interesting here is uh, not only the men have certain skills, but the ladies have certain skills. And so their skills are employed. This is not an all-male thing by any means. Uh, some men do these things. Some women do these things. Uh, some men have skills. Some women have skills. All is being brought together to construct this glorious sanctuary for God. What else did we find here at the verse 29? Uh, notice the Israelites, all the men and women, there they are together, all the men and women whose heart moved them to bring, uh, they brought. And so they're going to bring so much stuff here. We'll see what happens with that. But they are bringing their offerings and the whole group's participating. If you have a, you know what you find in a congregation is a lot of times there's a, the, the whole congregation, then there's a smaller set of people that give maybe return tithe. And there's a smaller set yet who return tithe plus other kinds of offerings. And you know what? You're blessed, kind of like according to your giving. And some people apparently don't come to church wanting a great, very great blessing. They don't, they don't give a lot to the Lord. Now, people don't have to give their money in the church. All I'm saying is, you know, here we have the people who are, are really engaged. And they want God's work to prosper. And they're returning to God. And, and that's helping their hearts to be right. So let's remember that all the things we own belong to God. He's loaning, kind of giving them to us. He's giving, letting us manage them. And when we go back and return an offering, uh, that should be to God's glory. And it will help us, help us move away from a selfish or a lack of trust kind of aspects in our experience. So may the Lord bless you as you determine how your skills, how your finances uh, relate to what God's calling you and asking you to do. Maybe we haven't been up to the line quite as close as we should have been. Maybe we are behind in showing the Lord our gratitude by returning tithes and gifts and offerings to Him. All right, see you next time.